tens of thousands of Israeli nationalists marched to Jerusalem's old city in an annual flag-waving march commemorating Israel's capture of it, as tensions on the Gaza border remained high. Palestinians in annexed East Jerusalem closed their shops and were banned from the Damascus Gate entrance to the old city, a social hub, to make way for the marchers, some of whom attacked journalists with rocks and bottles. Police said they had made two arrests over the attack, one of an adult and one of a minor. Many of the marchers chanted anti-Arab slogans. In Gaza, thousands gathered for a rival flag day on the Israeli border, many of them holding Palestinian flags. Israeli troops fired tear gas towards anyone approaching the border fence. A Palestinian security source in Gaza said the territory's Islamist rulers, Hamas, fired a warning rocket into the sea without elaborating. Ahead of the Israeli march, the militant group said it condemns the campaign of the Zionist occupation, Israel, against our Palestinian people in occupied Jerusalem. Two years ago, after weeks of violence in Jerusalem in which scores of Palestinians were wounded, a war between Hamas and Israel erupted during the march. Two of his extreme right cabinet members, Itamar Ben Gvir and Bezalel Smotrich, attended the march, one of the events marking what Israelis refer to as Jerusalem Day. Following the Six-Day War of 1967, Israel annexed East Jerusalem and its old city in a move never recognized by the international community.